Daimler's theorem tells us is that if we want to raise a complex number to a power, what we want to do is put the complex number in the, to the trigonometric form, and then to raise it to the nth power, what you're going to do is you're going to raise the r value to the nth power, but you're going to multiply the angle by the nth power. Okay, so this is how you take it from a, you know, just the trigonometric form raised to a power. You just raise the r value to that power and you multiply the angle by the power. Let's look at an example. Say we want to find out, okay, if z equals 2 plus 2i, z is our complex number, we want to find z to the fifth power. Now, if we wanted to do this a long way, we could take 2 plus 2i times 2 plus 2i, 2 plus 2i, 2 plus 2i, 2 plus 2i. We could multiply it five times. This would take a long time because you're you have a binomial times a binomial, you'd have to FOIL that out, then you'd have to do the distributive property, simplify, distribute, and so on. It would take a long time. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use Daimler's theorem, we're going to convert this to the trigonometric form. I like to draw a diagram just to see what I'm working with here. 2 plus 2i means you're going right to and up to, there's your point in the complex plane, and there's the r value right there, and there's the angle right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, um, r equals the square root of a squared plus b squared, okay, which equals 4 plus 4, which is square root of 8, which is 2 root 2, so that's our r value. Theta equals the tangent inverse of b over a, which is 2 over 2. This is 1. Tangent equals 1 at 45, or pi over 4, and you can see this is pi over 4. So if we write this in trigonometric form, what we have is 2 root 2 cosine pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. Okay, so there's our complex number, the same number here, just in a different form, trigonometric form. Now what we're going to do is we're going to raise both sides to the fifth power. We're going to use Daimler's theorem. We're going to raise the r value to the fifth power, so that's 2 root 2 to the fifth and we're gonna multiply the angle by five. So we're not raising it to the fifth power, we're just multiplying it by five. So that's five pi over four plus i sine five pi over four. Two root two to the fifth. Two to the fifth is 32. Square root of two to the fifth is actually gonna be, two times two is gonna be four, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. The square root of 32 is 4 root 2, so that's times 4 root 2, so we get 128 square root of 2, okay? And then cosine of 5 pi over 4 is actually going to give us negative root 2 over 2, and sine of 5 pi over 4 is uh, negative root 2 over 2i. So if we distribute, we get... 128 divided by 2 is 64. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 128 times the negative. That's negative 128. Same thing here. So that's going to be negative 128i. So this is a lot faster way than having to foil out this binomial 2 plus 2i five times. What you can do is just uh, translate it into the trigonometric form and use De Mauvert's theorem by taking the r value to whatever power you're working with and then multiplying that power's value times the angle. And then if you want, you can then distribute okay, this r value back in to change it back into the standard form of a complex number, the a plus bi form. So this has been how to work with Daimler's theorem. I'll see you in the next video.